How's it going movie fans? The 9th of April 2022 is the 40th birthday of actor Jay Baruchel. Baruchel's first on-screen acting credit came in television series My Hometown, with his feature film debut coming in 1999. While he has played the leading man, Baruchel will perhaps best be known for his numerous supporting roles, often in comedic films. However, Baruchel has also been known to take on dramatic roles. Along with being an actor, Baruchel has also taken on roles behind the camera as a producer, director and writer. Here are the Firewall's top 10 J. Baruchel movies. At number 10 is The Rules of Attraction. Adapted from the novel of the same name, this film follows the experiences of three students at Camden College in New Hampshire. They are Sean Bateman, Lauren Hind and Paul Denton, and the trio get caught up in a love triangle. Baruchel plays Harry, an acquaintance of Paul's. The running time is 110 minutes, and the rules of attraction has the firewall rating of 6.4 out of 10. At number 9 is Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. In this romantic comedy, based on a novel of the same name, Baruchel plays Tal, an amateur musician and a friend with benefits of Nora, the daughter of a record producer whose passion for music leads to her spending an evening with Nick as they pursue a mysterious band. The running time is 90 minutes, and Nick and Nora's infinite playlist has the firewall rating of 6.9. At number 8 is Fetching Cody. Art Frankel, played by Baruchel, is a drug addict, a drug dealer and a hustler who discovers his girlfriend Cody after she has overdosed in her apartment. Art then finds an armchair which works as a time machine and intends to use it in order to go back in time and change Cody's fate. The running time is 86 minutes and Fetching Cody has the firewall rating of 7.3. At number 7 is Goon. Baruchel was a producer and co-writer on this film as well as starring as Pat who is the best friend of Doug Glatt, a bouncer who after attending a hockey game and getting involved in a fight is offered an opportunity by his hometown team to play as an enforcer whose role is to get involved in violent play. The running time is 92 minutes and Goon has the firewall rating of 7.4. At number 6 is This Is The End. Jay Baruchel, who plays a fictionalised version of himself in this comedy, arrives in Los Angeles to visit longtime friend Seth Rogen, and the pair attend a star-studded party at James Franco's house. But after a series of strange and devastating occurrences, Jay and Seth realise that the apocalypse has begun. The running time is 107 minutes, and this is the end as the firewall rating of 7.6. At number 5 is Knocked Up. On a drunken night out, slacker Ben Stone meets ambitious reporter Alison Scott and the two have a one night stand. Eight weeks later, after experiencing morning sickness, Alison finds out that she's pregnant. She then decides to deliver the news to Ben. Baruchel plays Ben's friend and fellow slacker, Jay. The running time is 129 minutes, and Knocked Up has the firewall rating of 7.6. At number four is Tropic Thunder. When film director Damien Cockburn struggles to get the results he wants from his actors while filming a Vietnam War movie, he takes advice from the author of the book that the film is based on by attempting to make the experience feel more authentic for the cast, including Kevin Sandusky, played by Baruchel. The Ryan Times 107 minutes, and Tropic Thunder has the firewall rating of 7.7. .7. At number three is the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Set in the Viking village of Berk, Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III is the son of village chief Stoic the Vast. The people of Berk have come to view dragons as an enemy due to frequent attacks, but when Hiccup develops an unlikely friendship with a Night Fury dragon, things start to change. The running time is 304 minutes, and the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy has the firewall rating of 8.4. At number 2, is almost famous. In 1973, William Miller is a 15 year old high school student who aspires to be a rock journalist. After getting some work and advice from Lester Bangs, Miller is hired by Rolling Stone magazine for an assignment, which leads to him going on tour with rock band Stillwater. Baruchel plays music fanatic Vic Munoz. The run time is 122 minutes, and Almost Famous has the firewall rating of 8.5. At number one is Million Dollar Baby. In this sports drama, Maggie Fitzgerald is a waitress who dreams of becoming a professional boxer. She turns up at rundown gym The Hit Pit, run by trainer Frankie Dunn, and tries to convince him to train her. But Dunn is insistent that he doesn't train women. Baruchel plays boxing wannabe Danger Barch. The running time is 132 minutes, and Million Dollar Baby has the firewall rating of 8.6. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the files top 10 Charles Chaplin movies and if you enjoyed this list please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe.